It looks like Vice President Kamala Harris is going to face Donald Trump in November. Harris finds herself in something of an unusual position. She was Joe Biden's vice president, and now, after much debate and drama, she's the Democrats' presidential candidate. Her background is unique, particularly because Harris exemplifies two key coalitions that Democrats need to have turnout in November. We beat Donald Trump once, and we're going to beat him again. Not only is she a woman, but she's a woman of color with both South Asian and black heritage. Those groups, women and non-white voters, have been key democratic coalitions. And this will be a test of her ability to turn them out. We've seen as the campaign got closer that the former California Senator and California State Attorney General has focused on issues like abortion, on issues like voting rights, appealing specifically to those blocks. That's something of a difference from the start of her time in the Biden administration, when she was more focused on countries in Central America regarding immigration and kind of going out as a general surrogate for the president. Now, she needs to show that she can take those issues and build on them more and more on issues involving the economy, national security, and climate change. What Democrats say they want is a fighter, and in Harris, they have someone who's had many stare downs in Senate committee hearings and in courtrooms. But now that stare down is going to be against Trump.